Hi, hello and good morning everybody. It's very, very early. I thought um, I would show you on this beautiful morning. And if it is very early. Um, but I put on my gram a little while ago things that you might want to see more of um, on my account. And one of the things was a little bit more about my daily routines. Um, so I thought I would show you my morning routine today. So it starts by going to the barn. Well, actually it starts by getting up, having the world's biggest cup of tea and driving here for 20 minutes. 20 minutes is a long time, but worth it because I love the stables. So this is the barn and in here should be, oh, this door is so heavy. Doing this one-handed is not ideal, guys. Good morning, everybody. Oh, good morning. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Oh, my ponies. I say all my ponies, only that one's mine. Okay, so the first thing to do, if you're the first one here, is give them a breakfast. she's going to wear today, which is a sheet, pop that on here, like so, and her head collar, pop that on there, there good morning, Future Sophie here, um, editing this video, and it's really made me laugh because every single day when I get home from the stables, my hair is full of shavings, like full of shavings, and I'm always so confused. I'm like, how do they get in my hair? Because I'm like, am I mucking out too vigorously, like chucking it around, or when I'm doing the muck heap, like, how am I getting all these shavings in my hair? And I have just realised. It's <laughs> because she's got shavings all on her rug and I am oiling her legs. So putting my head right down next to her rug and basically just fluffing them onto my own head. Which is really funny. So yeah, that has solved my problem. And you probably didn't need to know that, but I thought it was funny. Thank you.
just walk over the fence, darling. It's not on. Okay. So then... She... Oh, oh, I dropped it. Oh, I dropped it. There we go. She wants her sweet before she says goodbye for the day. Oh, correct. Okay. Bye bye then. No, oh, okay. She says we're not done yet, Mum. Okay. Okay. Oh, are you coming with me today? Ah. Normally she runs off. There we go. Now she's going. Oh no, she's decided she wants to be with mum today. Hello. Let me just show you your new grasses. I got you new grasses. This is why she's so easy to take pictures with. Because she just follows you around like a little lap dog. <laughs> I've got no idea how much of this you can see. My camera's at a really weird angle. Right. Girl. Right, mommy, see you later. So now, to save me going back through that lake that we walked out of, I sneak under her fence in the car. track she's still very wet but not as wet as that river that we go through to get out of here and the barn is just there okay so first job when we get back to the stable it is a nest i don't know if i do my smoking out and my stable jobs in a weird order but i always do hay nets water stable So, she has two hay nets at night, at the minute, because she's in from about three to about half seven, eight. And I'm at a seat example. Uh, they are soaked for many, many hours to try and get any and all calories out of them. So, yeah, I take two empty ones, I fill them up. One of them, one of them soaking overnight, one of them soaks during the day. And it's all good. Uh, new hennets on to soak so she has one that soaks overnight which I will empty out the bucket and then put the new one into soak through the day um, the old one goes up to drain and the new one I will well, the, the one that goes in today I'll go up to drain when I get here later it gets about an hour drainage and then they both go in her stable overnight and I'll put the next one on to soak
filling up for a minute whilst I do my next job of water and feet bowls. So you can't actually hear what I'm saying here because I'm a little bit too far away and it's windy so I thought I would just pop on a voiceover. So basically this is one of my eco top tips is using her leftover water, drinking water to wash out her feed bowls. So um, obviously it depends how much she leaves, some nights she drinks more than others but usually she leaves about half a bucket. So I just use that to rinse out her water, uh, her feed bowls and um, I've got sort of waterproof gloves on so I just swirl that around and get rid of any leftover food residue and then if there is any water left after that then that goes on top of the soaking hay so it's not wasted. halfway because it's so much easier to carry water when you've balanced yourself out because I have got quite a long way to carry them all the way into the barn which is over there I'm not gonna film that you don't need to see me carrying buckets last job of the morning is mugging out my favorite here we go I have filmed this um, video in the ratios for Instagram, hopefully, we're working that out. Um, so yeah, it will go on Instagram TV, but if you would rather see this type of video on YouTube, then please put it in the comments and let me know because I'm happy to do it on either, but I can upload it to both, but it will be bad quality on one or the other because you have to film in completely different aspect ratios. Because they can't all use the same, that'd be too easy. So yeah, do just let me know if you want to see this type of thing again, and if you do, if you would like it in YouTube or Instagram. Okay, so that is my morning routine done. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry if it was boring. Um, she's not in at work at the minute, so it is just chores in my morning routine. Um, but if you liked it, let me know, and maybe I could do a full day one or my evening routine when she's back in work and I can get some writing footage in there as well. Bye. Bye.